When you are feeling anxious or depressed, it's easy to spiral into a pit of fear and despair. As Christians, we can stop this spiral by turning to God's word as a reminder of his design for our lives. Psalm 55 verse 22 Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he'll sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Psalm 23 verse 4 Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Psalm 34 verse 4 I sought the Lord, and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. You may also want to draw comfort from Jesus' word to his disciples in Matthew 6, verse 25 to 34. Here Jesus commend his followers not to get caught up in fears about their food, their clothes, their appearance, and the direction of their lives. Instead, he reminds them to focus on today, saying, Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Here Jesus isn't just telling his disciples not to worry about everyday things. He is reminding them that God guides them through life, and if they have faith in our Father, God will deliver them to the kingdom of heaven. If you look at Isaiah 41 verse 10, you will find a similar message. It reads, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. If you are feeling anxious, you may find relief through prayer. As prayer help us connect intimately with God, this connection allows us to renew our strength in our Creator, as He can give us wisdom, courage, and comfort. To pray for relief, seek out a quiet and safe place. Then take some deep breath and perform an anxiety meditation to clear your mind. Once your mind is calm, pray aloud or in your head. If you find comfort in movement, you may choose to write out your prayer either on paper or in the air in front of you. Handwritten your prayer can be a soothing as it forces your mind to focus on writing rather than worrying. With the help of God, I claim all spiritual blessing in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, my heart cries out to you for mercy and grace, knowing that there is nothing that commends me to you and there is nothing that I can do to warrant your forgiveness, except in the cross of Jesus, my Lord. Father, my sin testifies against me, for my heart is bruised and bloody, and there is no health in me whatsoever. All too often, my thoughts are dirty thoughts, which are not unknowing to a holy God, and too frequently, my thoughts are translated into foul words and actions that oppose my union in Christ and my position as a child of God. For although I have trusted Christ as my Savior, I have sinned against you in thoughts, words, and deed, and am no longer worthy to be called your child. Lord, I have sinned against you, and I confess my sin before you, and my heart's desire turn right away from all my sins and back to you, back to my first love, my Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you that your mercy towards me never fails. Thank you that your loving kindness towards me and all your children is new every morning. Thank you that even though I prove faithless, you remain faithful to the promises that you have made to me, that whosoever believes in Jesus will not perish but have everlasting life. Thank you that Christ's death on the cross has washed all my sins, past, present, and future right away. And Lord, from this day forward, help me to learn to take every thought captive and give it to you and wash my heart clean and pure so that I live and work to honor your glory in Jesus' name. O oh God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, help me as I pursue the purpose of my life. O oh Lord, through your Holy Spirit which is in me, send help concerning the situation in my life in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, let the person that will help me locate me today in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, you are ever present, help in time of need. Meet me, Lord, at the point of my needs in Jesus' name. Father, help me from those who are too strong for me in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, be my present help in fighting my battles today in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, help me and deliver me from the arms of the mighty of this world in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, discipline all those who say of me there is no help for me in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, send help to me from this sanctuary and strengthen me out of Zion in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I have no one on earth that will help me. 
Help me, for trouble is near. Deliver me so that my enemies will not cause me to weep in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, do not delay in helping me. Send help speedily and silent those who mock me in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, do not hide your face from me at this trying moment. Be merciful to me, my God. Arise and defend me in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, show me your loving kindness. Raise helpers for me at this period of my life in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, a hope different makes their heart sick. Dear Lord, send me help before it's too late for me in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, help me and use me to help others in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, fight against those who are fighting against my destiny helpers today in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, because of the glory of your name, help me on this issue in Jesus' name. O Lord, from today, I declare that I shall never lack in Jesus' name. O Lord, from today, I declare that your mercy over me shall overrule all evil judgments in Jesus' name. O Lord, your name is a strong tower and the righteous finds help in them. I declare that from today, I will never lack help in Jesus' name. O Lord, help me to stand strong in the midst of this trial and temptation in Jesus' name. O Lord, I set my eyes on you for help today. I know I shall never be put to shame in Jesus' name. Because I have received help from above, those who are condemning me shall stand in awe and see how my God will decorate my life in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, it is evident that there is no one to help. I therefore stretch out my hand to you for help. O oh Lord, as you sent Angel Michael to help Daniel in time of need, send your angels to send me help in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, I have peace of mind because you are my helper. Father, I declare that man will not boast as the source of my help in my life. You are my only helper in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, help me to live godly life as I serve you. Father, thank you for hope. Thank you for the light in the darkness. Thank you that no matter how dark the night, you are with me. My situation and circumstances may look dark, but I know that you not only go before me, but you also walk with me. As I pray tonight, please fill me with even more hope. I trust you, God, even in the midst of this seemingly hopeless season. I know my hope is in you and that the victory is already yours in Jesus' name. I know that nothing is too hard for you, but I feel too unworthy to mess up, too responsible for my current condition to expect a miracle from you to bail me out. Be anxious is what Satan tells me I deserve because of my own actions. But you say we don't get what we deserve. We get the mercy and grace of a loving Heavenly Father because of Christ. You can break every chain. You are the God of miracles. You can do amazing things in my life starting at this moment. I think for every thought of love you have towards me and the future you are bringing about even now. I know it's good because you are a good God in Jesus' name. Please let the amazing power of hope in you shine through my circumstances. And let me feel the love of Jesus right now. When I'm hopeless, fill me with your hope in Jesus' name. When I'm depressed, remind me of the things to be thankful, even joyful about. When I'm in despair, remind me that Jesus rose from the grave, bringing hope and defeating death. He has the victory, and in that victory I have hope. I have so many things I'm worried about bombarding my brain. Sometimes I'm so tired from worrying about all these things. I'm not going to hold them anymore. I cast them on you, knowing you are fully capable of catching them. You carefully hold me, my loved ones, my dream, and anything else I take care of and love in your hands. You are infinitely wise, resourceful, powerful, and loving. You can take care of me and everything I care about. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you for loving me and giving me grace when I fall short. Thank you for what you did on the cross for dying for my sins. Despite my current situation and circumstance, I give you control of what's happening in my life and ask you to give me peace. Lord, I know nothing I'm experiencing is a surprise to you. I can trust you with this because you love me even to send your son Jesus to die for me. I ask that you use this situation to grow my faith and dependence on you and that through this experience, my faith will be bigger and stronger. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God. I trust Him. For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. 
He will cover you from his feathers, and he shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Almighty God, you are our refuge. We run to you for safety. Help us to increase our trust in you day by day. Help us to increase our belief that you will protect us from disease and place the pieces of your armor protection over us each day. Father, we know each day has a purpose you will in our lives. On the days it's hard for us to stand up against all the calamity and chaos in the world flying at our faces. Help us to seek you and find you in moments of calm and clarity. Let your peace reign in our hearts, our minds and actions. Let your Holy Spirit fall over us in calm sense of purpose. Yet we know vigor to follow Jesus with more determination each day. Thank you for life. Thank you for the people you have faithfully placed around us. Thank you for the talents, the gifts, the blessings, the healings and purposes you have weaved into our lives. Thank you for choosing us, Jehovah, Jaira. In you we have all we need. Let your word feed our bodies, our minds and soul. The strength we need to follow you wholeheartedly every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.